Hey everyone, Chris here. I'm just down here at the lake, ready for my first open water swim of the year. Not being super excited about it because at the start of the year, start of the season, it's always super cold. And so I was thinking about, well, how do we motivate ourselves to go and jump in a cold lake? So for this video, I've put uh, put together eight reasons, uh, eight ways to motivate yourself, get that mental motivation to get going and get down into the cold water. Number one then is goals. I love to start with goals, but if you have got races coming up, if you've, I've got some triathlons coming up, some swim runs coming up, ones in North Wales, it's going to be cold. Need to get used to that cold water, so remembering those goals can be really helpful. Number two, focus on the health benefits of cold water immersion. It is unpleasant, but it's also a lot of science suggesting it's good for us that there are health benefits from taking a chilly dip. So even if the water is cold, long term I'm doing something good for my health, just like the way I do exercise, I do triathlon, try and eat healthy for the long term good. Number three, remember it's a habituation process, so you just need to get the body used to colder water and the more we do it, the better we get and we could wait till the water's really warm in summer but it's still probably going to feel quite cold that first time we get in whereas the sooner we get in we know we need to go through that pain at some point so we might as well do it now and start getting the body used to it and one of the reasons cold showers are really good pre going for a swim Number four, get some accountability. So if you've got a coach, that's easy, but maybe there's a friend uh, you can arrange to go with and then you've got that social element and some accountability as well. Or maybe it's just signing up in advance and paying your money and knowing that you're going to lose the money if you don't go for that swim session. Number five is focus on the things that you like about swimming. So it's very easy when we're sitting in our nice warm homes to think about how cold it will be but we don't often maybe think about oh but how nice is it to swim in a lake in in nature and the beautiful surroundings uh, um it's just fun to swim outside right and if we focus on the nice bits we can think oh yeah it's going to be cold but actually there'll be some really nice bits as well number six is you could bribe yourself so a uh, simple one here like have some have some uh, treat food or whatever bribe you want um for after the session so i'll be like yeah gonna do that but then i can crack open a cider when i get home number seven use some mindfulness so rather than dwelling on how cold it's going to be just sign up don't think about it every time that thought about oh it's going to be cold just recognize that and say oh i'm having that thought again but not going to give it any energy i'm just going to go on with my life and i won't deal with it till i'm at the lakeside and then once we're there probably not too bad we can jump in and then number eight is just make it really easy for yourself. So if you want to go early in the season, maybe invest in some booties, invest in some gloves. I've got my uh, got my little thermal vest on here. Uh, get a good dry robe so you know when you come out, you've got a nice towel there, a nice dry robe. And just a lot of time there's all the barriers of, oh, it's going to be really cold on my hands or I'm going to be freezing when I get out. Take some of those barriers away by by getting the stuff in place that you need and also so we can like buy stuff but also set our expectations right like it feels silly to drive all the way to the lake for a 15 minute swim but if that's the thing that says okay well that's easy enough that i could manage that then just allow yourself to go for a 10 or 15 minute swim it doesn't have to be diving in doing 2000 meters doing an hour doing whatever just make it easy enough that it gets you in there Hopefully that was useful. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want more videos on triathlon and swimming, then hit that subscribe button because that's what my channel is all about and I would love to see you in another video.